Hey folks, Steve Johnson here with the SJ Knows Everything YouTube channel and the Not So Straight and Level podcast. Um, today I'm going to show you really quick how to use the Zoom L8 audio interface with GarageBand on an iPad. So let's get started. <clears throat> so you've seen the L8 before or you've seen my videos about the L8. You know what it is. It's a cool uh, Zoom product interface board, all that sort of thing. So we're going to use it today as an audio interface uh, to an iPad. So won't that be cool? So the first thing we got to do is we got to tell the Zoom that uh, we want to use it as an audio interface. So we're going to do that before we plug it in. Now, the way we plug it in is we've got this little USB connector, which plugs into the back of the Zoom device. Now, I'm running on batteries because if I was running without batteries and this is unplugged, I wouldn't have any lights at all. So I think with the uh, connecting this to an iPad, you're going to want to have it running on batteries. All right. So that's what you want to do. So then you're going to need an adapter like this in order to adapt it to the iPad. So I've got my uh, normal USB drowned in my little lightning connector, or whatever Apple calls that. And that's what you got going on there. Now you got to tell the Zoom that it needs to be in audio interface for an, uh, an iPad type device or an uh, iOS device. So you do that by first going down here and clicking the mixer button. Then you click on audio interface. You can't see it on this little tiny screen, but I've got two choices here, Mac PC or iOS. I'm going to turn this over to iOS and press on this button. It's going to say, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. And that's all there is to it. Now we're ready to go. Okay. Next thing I got to do is I have to hook this up to my iPad, which I'm going to do. And uh, here we are on the iPad. First thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to load GarageBand just for fun, get that started and hit continue because this is new. And I'm going to go and uh, say, uh, let's uh, create a new song. So the first thing we do after we open GarageBand, we want to choose audio recorder. Okay. So I picked that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my little deal into the side of my iPod right here like this. Okay. And what you'll find out is that in a minute, you're going to get this little pop-up like this right here that says, you have plugged in an electric guitar or microphone in order to hear yourself tap, you must turn on monitoring. So that means it's recognized the, the live track A. So I'm going to hit turn on monitoring. Now I've got that going. I don't know what all this little circle of stuff is here, but down here in the lower right, you'll see that it says channel one, right? I'm going to click that. Now, Channel 1 and Channel 2 currently are not showing any input, but you'll watch if I chip, chip Channel 3, oh ho ho ho, and I grab my microphone, look at that, you can see input coming in on Channel 3. Now that doesn't make any sense because I've got my microphone plugged into Channel 1. Well, the way this interface works is that Channels 1 and 2 on the iPad are actually the master output of all of the channels mixed together. So if I go back to channel one now, and now I turn up the master output, you will see that when I talk into the microphone, I'll get that. So that would give me the output of all of these channels mixed together coming in on one and two on stereo. But that's not what I want to do today. So that means channel three is actually channel one by itself. And if I wanted to go over here and use one of these effects like on channel seven, that would be channel 9 and channel 10 because these are stereo tracks, okay? So this is 9 and 10. This is 11 and 12. Does that make any sense at all? Probably not. But if I go pick this down here, hit my channel button again, I'm going to pick 9 and I'm going to hit one of these buttons here. You're going to see it's going to grab some input. All right. And then if I pick channel 10, it's going to grab the same input. If I hit the same button and so on and so forth. So that is all there is to getting those interfaces hooked up. You can use them in multi-track mode or whatever you want to do to record on the iPad. Now here is the bad news. Nothing will come out of the USB interface back to the Zoom. It just doesn't work that way. They haven't put that either into GarageBand or whatever. And obviously that works on the PC side or on the Mac side, but it does not work on the iPad. So if you want to run audio from your iPad back to the L8, you have to hook it up to the little old fashioned headphone connector on here with a couple wires going into one of these inputs. This seven and eight input would work great for it or any of these other inputs. So just bear that in mind when you're using this interface. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click subscribe if it was helpful. And I'll be coming up with more stuff in the future. See you later.